Ketchup in a second. Oh, and by the way, uh, if any of you won big, remember I do accept gratuities. Anything but catalogs? Yeah, a couple of bills. Oh, boy. It's a little hazy in here, isn't it? God, they smoke like chimneys. My clothes stink. Take it easy. Bye. Well, tell him I can manage 100 a week. And, of course, Three meals a day, and he can sleep out back in the maintenance building. How'd that be? Dice que te va a dar 100 dólares por semana y tres comidas por día, y que te puedes quedar allá en el cuarto de atrás. Gracias, señor. Está bien. Okay, well, uh, give him a chance to get cleaned up, and then he can come back in here and start on the kitchen. Lava la cocina, okay? I'll tell him. Thank you. Tell Senor Legal. Oh, come on, Amanda. We need another hand around here with you being pregnant. He sure needs a break, so it works out for everybody. Baby's gonna grow up speaking Spanish. It's the land of opportunity, darling. We were all immigrants at one time or another. Oh, I know, I know. I just don't like having a complete stranger around the cash. I think we should just lock things up. Actually, I was thinking of giving him your keys myself. Oh. Carlos, yo tengo su llave, aquí, and you can Jerry. have a truck on Saturday come nights, on, too. Jerry. Got him. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, Kyle. Sweetie, go sit down and eat your breakfast. The school bus will be here any minute. Okay. Now, what was it that you were saying? Huh? Excuse me, sir. Some of us have work to do. I think there's a conspiracy on this planet. A global conspiracy to put Americans out of work. Hello? This recession that we're supposedly out of? Who created it? You know the answer. Tweedledee and Tweedle freaking dumb. Big business and government. Why? So they could dump the unions and replace half the American workforce with cheap immigrant labor. That's what I call an oxymoron. I mean, is there any other kind? What happened to good old-fashioned American know-how? The old elbow grease and a day's pay for a day's work. That's how it used to be. Have we all forgotten? Hey, pal, I'm talking to you. That's right, you, sitting home while the old lady brings back the bacon. You sitting there, staring into space. Is this what you were trained for? When are you going to wake up? Hello? Hey, honey. Look at the facts. How many of you out there lost your I forgot your the keys. Can you hand them to me? Thanks. Oh, I left you some pork chops in the fridge. High tech. Am I right? Huh? Did your company retrain you? Don't call me. I know the answer. And if you paid for the retraining yourself, what did you find out? You found out that high tech means automated. Hello? You found out that 10 of you were training for the same damn job. And only was only one available, okay? Good. You found you out okay, that Marty? all the weenies are left you with. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm fine. Fine. I wish you wouldn't listen to that trash. What am I getting to Anyway, I gotta go to work now. I'll be home by five. You're the one that should feel bad, not me. I'm just here to help you. I'm a nice guy. Thank you. This is Randy Stein. I'll be back after the traffic reports. That's a good one, too, but don't get me started again. Weather for Los Angeles and the surrounding areas for Tuesday will be mostly sunny. Late evening and early morning low clouds. This is sunny day. And there's just no stopping them. Now, two days ago, the same cells, not a retro got in. What the gene splice didn't take, the DNA just 
mutated on its own? Are you sure somebody's not switching your samples? Oh, great. Thanks. Let's create a little paranoia. Look, I mean, there's a thin line between prudence and paranoia, but me, yeah, I'd be careful. So, crew's going to Karma this weekend. Well, I've got to work. Oh, and I know a certain ER physician who expects you to be there. Did she put you up to this? <laughs> There's a secret conspiracy against men in the world. Hmm. Rita, expanding your horizons. I'm a sucker for abduction stories. Yeah, especially when they involve sex. <clears throat> sex, is that a medical term? I don't know, is it? Call yourself a doctor. How many shootings did we do last night? Five. Not counting the cholo who shot himself in the foot. And there was the freeway pileup, the seven ODs, and the two domestic stabbing incidents. The all-day sachet. All right, I'm depressed. Well, you didn't sleep for 20 hours. No, I'm tired and depressed. Gotta go see you later, Rita. Mm -hmm. He's always making those pictures. I'll tell you why. Because he's out of his mind. And they're going to put him back on the street. His beef was manslaughter. He's done his time. No, what I'm saying, that boy was a cuz. It would have been murder one, and they'd have thrown away the key. And that's the truth. And you know it. That's how they make their money, pal. What are you going to do about it? Huh? Nothing's going to happen, is it? Hello? That's my point. Your congressman's another weenie being led by his nose by the UN. NAFTA stands for not a freaking thing, America. You're out of work. He doesn't care. And hey, Callister, I still got some of my stuff in the locker room. You think I could go down and pick it up? Give me an answer. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it?
Alicia, epinephrine. Super suction morphine. Remember what being a real doctor's like? Yeah, golf on Wednesdays. The scalpel is a sharp one with the pointy end. No, I don't have to do this. Listen, we're shorthanded. As soon as we get them all in, we are going to need help. Are these the worst? They're all bad. That one's got multiple fractures and a punctured lung. This one got hit with debris in the explosion. The head, chest injuries, we can't get a line on her. Josh? Yeah, I got it. We need a blood gas. How many times you try? Twice, but I didn't want to take a chance. No you know? problem. Detective, it's like I told you. His heart arrested, I called a cold blue, and I called for epinephrine. Where were you standing? How many times do I have to show you this? No, come on, doctor, humor me. I don't like this Columbo business any more than you do. Where were you standing, please? I was standing over there. I was waiting for the paddles. Okay, how long were you out here? What? 10 seconds tops. When you were standing here, you couldn't see the bed, could you? No. But you said you thought you saw a light. Right. Out the corner of my eye. Uh, maybe it was a lamp tipping. I don't know. But when I came back, the guy was gone. Even though his heart was arrested. Detective, when I left him, he was in arrest. What do you want me to say? I mean, the place was chaos. There, there weren't enough doctors, and I was just helping out, sir. I don't know. But I'd like to hear something that makes some sense. Are you telling me everything? I've got a blood sample. Unfortunately, the man's not a suspect, he's a witness. Rudnick, what do you got? Nada. Move over David Copperfield. Whoever this guy was, he could work Vegas. How far could he get? His heart's not beating, right, Doc? It's in there when you checked in, it's in there now.
flyboy. Where are you headed? Barstow. Have a board. Nothing much. Hey, take a look at this for me. Wait, where'd you get this? From the guy who disappeared. Hmm. Now, we know it's type A, but the parents and I couldn't get an RH factor, so I decided to run some tests. Well, yeah, it's antivirulent, that's for sure. Blew away every bug, virus, and germ. HIV, SIV, everything. Did you mess with the genes? Grace, I didn't touch it. Whoever this guy is or was, he's immune to everything. <laughs> so, uh, what are you going to do with this? Well, I'm not going to leave it here, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Did Marty own any weapons? Any handguns? Yeah, he keeps a shotgun under the bed. Got it. Thanks. Do you have any idea how he might have obtained explosives? No. He belonged to any clubs, you know, gun clubs, political organizations. Just the why. He, um, he liked to play handball on Thursdays. He was just a normal guy. It killed him. Losing his job, you mean? He just changed. He started, uh, seeing things in his head. You know, act crazy. I don't know. 3.31. 3.32. 3.33. 3.34. Got over 500 of them the other day. I like to count them. Good job. before you clean it. See? Scrape. And it's got to be hot. Okay? Hot. Caliente, see? Monday. Tiene que raspar la parilla caliente pa que quite la grasa. Ah, si, si, yo comprendo. When did you get out? About 10 o'clock this morning. Nolan, I'm calling the police. Why? Well, you know why? There's a restraining order. No, no, stop. What, what the hell are you doing here? I don't know. We have a normal life now. Did you just come here to screw it up? No. I didn't even know you were here. I, I just, I saw the truck stop in the... You had a vision. Oh, God. Hello, Nolan. 
He hasn't changed. He came here because he had a vision. Take it easy, man. Where else is he gonna go? Probably just needs a little money. Is that right, Nolan? Yeah, I guess. Well, that's no problem. Does 200 sound okay with you? No, no that's... Here, take it. Thanks, Jerry. My buddy's headed back to L.A. I'm sure he'd be happy to give you a ride. Okay. No problem. Nolan, did he, did he recognize you? Did Kyle recognize you? I don't think so. He's a fine boy. This month. Hey, I could use the company. You're doing me a favor. Don't mind me smoking, do you? Take it easy, Noel. Doctors. Sometimes I think they control our lives, you know? I mean, who's to say what's really in those prescriptions they give us? They kept me sedated in prison. To control you? Think about it. It's a conspiracy. They use psychiatrists to program commercials on TV. To worm their way into our brains. I don't like shrinks. Telling everybody you was crazy. Jerry told me what they did to you. Took away your pilot's license, ruined your business. They're the reason you can't see your kid. The way I see it, the biggest problem you got is doctors. <sighs> am I right or am I right? Jobs are a priority. The economy is a priority. But the alarming rise in violence must also be a priority. Violence, like what happened in Los Angeles yesterday, doesn't solve anything, it only divides us and impedes our hey. progress toward you a okay? safer and better world. Yeah, why? I don't know. You seem edgy, distracted. No, I'm just tired, baby. Hey. Why don't we stay put tonight? Mm -hmm. Just order in and chill. What do you think? Mm -mm. Come on. We're going, the whole crew's gonna be there. Come on, baby, I'm exhausted. I can't dance. <laughs> yes, you can. Uh -oh. Come on, we're both tired. And the whole world is going to hell in a hand mm. basket, which is exactly why the last thing I am doing tonight is staying home to watch the news on TV. Hmm? hmm? You want a beer? Yeah, make it a light. Get dressed. Okay. I got a message from that leasing agent up at Arrowhead, honey. I don't think I can get away. Come on, L. You gotta make the time. End of the month for a whole week. And the cabinet's right on the lake, baby. Is that a blood sample in our refrigerator? Safekeeping. I didn't want to leave it at work. 
Oh, so you thought it was a good idea to keep it in the refrigerator? Josh! Baby, we've been having a lot of problems at the lab. I mean, things have been coming up missing or misplaced. You know, you're being paranoid. <laughs> I'm being paranoid? Mm -hmm. You're the doctor, honey. You see gallons of blood every day. Mm. I do not bring it home and keep it in the refrigerator. So? Whose blood is it? It's the guy's. The mystery man. Baby, that blood is amazing. It's weird. I, I ran some tests, and it doesn't conform to any blood type I know of. Oh, well, maybe it's a glitching procedure. Run it again. You know, there is something else. It's something I didn't uh, tell the police. What? I had to leave him there to go out and get some help. And I, I was turned away maybe five seconds tops, and I saw this thing out the corner of my eye. It was a light, like a sheet lightning or a flash bulb. I mean, it was blinding. And it was coming from his bed. Now, there's nobody in the room, and this guy's heart's in arrest, right? I mean, it sounds crazy. So I go back in, and there's nothing. Nada. Except his bed is crawling with flies. I swear. Why didn't you tell the police? Would you? They'd lock me in a rubber room and throw away the key. Hon, look. You've been under a lot of pressure, okay? Things happen in ER, I know, okay? Maybe going to Arrowhead's not such a bad idea. We could both use a vacation. I go. Nice talking to you. Thanks. No problem. Hey! Forgot something.
see you come, huh? They say the killing was just released from prison. I know, it's unbelievable. Look, if you need me to, I'm very happy to stay. Oh, no, 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 you go on ahead. I know it's been a long night for you, too. <sighs> Thank you, Grace. Poor Josh. Give you something, Mel. It's a sedative. It'll help you get some sleep. I should um clean out his things. Oh no no no, that can wait, Ellen. You just get some rest. I'm gonna stay the night with you. You know, we were supposed to go away at the end of next month. Probably wouldn't have worked out anyway. You know how you make plans and then. And then you get so busy. And then it's too late. <laughs> I, I just can't help thinking. I, mean, I save people's lives every day. There's something that I should have done. That I could have done. <laughs> oh my God, Rita. You didn't even want to go out to them. <laughs> Weber, Dr. Josh Weber, you didn't know him. Who? The guy you shot. I didn't do it. Monk shot him, all right? Well, unfortunately, Nolan and your prints were the only prints they found on the weapon. If you didn't know who Dr. Weber was, how'd you find him? I, I don't know. Look, Monk drove me there in his pickup truck, all right? And he shot him. You... They make me do things. You hear me? They, they get inside my head and they make me do things. Who is they? <sighs> Wait, please. Tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. Please, you gotta listen to me. Please. I called the hospital. They're expecting you to take some time off. I think it would be a good idea. No, I can't. I have too much to do. Where'd you get it? Found it in Wood's backpack. He left it in the truck. That her? Yeah, this is son. This is Vegas, 1987. Uh, the wife's remarried now, lives in Barstow. He owned a shuttle service between Vegas and L.A. Turbo props. Flew one himself. What happened? Started having mental problems. Seeing things. Visions. UFOs. Hearing voices in his head. Cost him his license. And the business? It's the end of the 80s. Folded. He just went berserk. I mean, his prior was manslaughter. He beat some guy to death outside a casino. Some ecologist from Harvard. His wife divorced him when he's in jail. Man, that's a long way to fall.
Let's hear it for the weenie minds of the Nevada penal system. 24 hours after releasing a known psychopathic killer, guess what? Do I have to tell you the punchline? Hello, is anybody safe anymore in this country, in this city, in this town, in this world? America has a big homeless problem, right? I have, an, I have a solution. Let's get the homeless people, give them all nightsticks, give them 10 bucks a week, tell them to hang around outside prisons and mental hospitals. If people escape, they can beat them up. That way you take care of the homeless problem and escape prisoners. A psychopath is loose. Yeah, pleasant dreams tonight. Thank you. He never should have been released in the first place. He was mentally ill, mentally unbalanced. Did he actually threaten you or your son? He didn't have to. All he had to do was show up. So, uh, you have no idea why your ex-husband did something like this? Look, I just told you, he's mentally ill. Nobody can predict what he's gonna do. Especially not me. Wait here, please. I need to talk to someone. Yeah, tomorrow, when they move you. No, not, not tomorrow, today. I need to talk. You can go in now. <sighs> Where's the other nurse? dream. What do you mean? I don't want to dream. Please. With a sedative. I'm afraid that I got a statewide APB. I figure he's headed back to Barstow. How? Where did it break down? Captain, I, I don't know. Excuse me, Captain. Cole, you got Dr. Garza out here. 
Garza. Garza, that's that's Weber's girlfriend. What's she doing here? I don't know. Send her in. Dr. Garza. Dr. Garza, come on, come on. This is Captain Johnson. Doctor, I'm sorry about your loss. Thank you. So, what can we do for you? I went to Wood's room. He told me that there was someone else with him the night of the murder. Yeah, we know that. Monk Patterson, the guy he left Barstow with. See, I went back to the club. There was blood near Woods. Well, yes, ma'am. Woods shot himself, so there was blood everywhere. I had the blood tested. It's not Woods. It's... it's very unusual blood. Forgive me for asking you this, but what were you doing in Woods' room? I think maybe I went there to kill him. Excuse me? How about I walk you to your car, OK? Thank you. There's something else you should know. Josh told me something that happened in the ER that night that man disappeared. He described this blinding light. He was really rattled by it. And he said that the bed was covered with flies. So? So ER is scrubbed on the hour. No germs, no way any flies would have gotten in there. Well, I don't know. A couple of flies got past. Lieutenant, Josh left some blood in the refrigerator. It's a blood sample. He claims that it belongs to the guy who disappeared in ER. Why don't we have it tested? See if it matches. All right, all right, let's do it right away. May I help you? Do you sell one-way tickets to Vegas? Well, of course, but it's a better deal if you buy a round-trip package. Have I seen you before? No, I don't think so. Uh, the one-way ticket would be just fine. Um, when does when the next bus leave? At 5.13 this afternoon. It's a smoking bus. It doesn't matter. You're not an actor, are you? Hmm? No. Because I just know I've seen you. <laughs> well, let me cash your charge. Uh, I'll just put it on my card, okay? Certainly, Mr. Erskine. Well, just take me a second here. There you go. This bus uh, stops in Barstow, right? You've been with us before, haven't you? See, I knew it. I never forget a face. He um, brought it home the night after the guy disappeared. Said he didn't want to leave it in the lab. Did he give you a reason for this? General paranoia. <sighs> it's not here. Well, so why did he bring it home? Grant money is not easy to come by. A lot of competition. He felt that somebody was sabotaging his research. Emergency, Rita. Rita! It's me. Did you, um, did you get anything out of my refrigerator the other night? I got you some cranberry juice. I drank a couple diet sodas. What are you looking for? I'll call you back. It's not there. Report. No, no, I didn't, I didn't see it. I would have remembered. Um, did you check with Reed? Lieutenant, it was there. Somebody took it. I don't believe this. And it doesn't matter. Of course it matters. No, no, not if you think it's going to match the sample from the club. What are you saying? Look, after you left this morning, I mean, 
I just couldn't believe those results we got, so I tested the sample you gave me again. And? Well, I got an RH, a type, the protein in the viral skews were dead on normal. I don't know, I think the first time it just, just must have been a computer glitch or something. I want to go home. I know, this is... It's been hard on her. I mean, I don't think she's had any real sleep. Yeah. Look, I might need to get back in touch with you to ask some follow-up questions or something. Um, do you want my home number? Well, yeah, that, that'd be nice, actually. Uh, it's 555-6895. Grace. Grace. <laughs> I won't forget that. The reason you're hearing it is There is something true. going on here. I don't know what it is, but it scares the hell out of me. Now, you want to deny it? Fine. I won't. All right, all right. Where are you going now? Do you need a ride or what? No, Lieutenant. Not necessary. Hold on a second. Coil. Yeah, wait, wait. Slow down, slow down. You use one of Erston's credit cards? Come on. All right, ask him if they pull in at the Agua Dulce truck stop in Barstow. That's where his ex-wife lives. Yeah? All right. Redneck, get the CHP and the Barstow PD out there right now. You intercept them. I'm coming in. That man knows something. Talk to him. Don't hurt him. It's not my policy to hurt people. What, you're defending him now? Don't forget who he is. And don't forget what he did. What the hell is that? Do you want to tell me, Kyle, what that is on your arm? Tattoo. Uh-huh. Well, I want it washed off right now. You get your books, and you go home, and you get ready for bed. Move it! Um, honey, is your homework done? I'm finished. Kyle, baby, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to snap at you. This pregnancy just got me so weird. And it's just been a tough couple of days, and I'm, I don't feel like myself. It's OK, Mom. Hmm. Yes, of course I'll be there. I'll be there before they arrive. Forward to it. Oh, don't worry about it. Everything is under control. They're bringing him. But I want to talk to you about the other thing. Has it been tested? Well, just be sure it's tested. Because mistakes will not be tolerated, you understand? Good. appreciate the referral. I'm a little, uh, I'm a little short-handed right now, but uh, I'll have to take my truck out myself. You tell them that it's gonna take me about a half an hour to get there. All right? Good. Bye-bye. Hey, Carlos, be careful with the dishes, will ya? We got them, huh? You're breaking the profit margin. Thank you. 
you've reached Dr. Ellen Garza. I'm not available right now, but if you leave your name, number, and a brief message, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If this is a medical emergency, hit the pound button after your message, and I will be back. Toe up 15, Harry Fanning referred it. His truck's already out on a run. Can't you give it to somebody else? Well, it's a busy night, baby. I was his last call. Everybody else was on the road. Can you handle the tour bus all right? Please. Steak and eggs, steak and eggs, steak and eggs. I don't like being here by myself. Carlos, por favor, ayuda a la señora anoche, okay? What's the puesto? You know what I mean. Oh, don't worry, baby. You can trust him. And I'll be back as soon as I can. Bye-bye. I love you. Bye. <laughs> We're gonna take care of this for you. I want you to go inside. I want you to make this place look as normal as possible. It'll all be over before you know it. All right, let's go. So let's just listen to them. They know what they're doing. Come on. Seated people, this is a routine inspection. Thank you for your cooperation. Please remain seated. This is a routine inspection. Thank you for your cooperation. Thank you. Do you have a passenger list? Sure. I'm looking for a Robert Erskine. has a reservation, but he didn't show. Hey, buddy. Didn't expect to see you again so soon. How you feeling? This will only take a minute. Question is, what the hell's wrong with this little baby? Something's not working right, that's for sure. As soon as we get another in, you'll be good as new. soon enough.
Honey, don't worry, you're gonna be fine. You just stay here with the night shift. You can trust Carlos, and if anything happens, the police will be right back. Okay, but when will you be back? Well, maybe a few hours. You better not wait up for me. You're gonna be okay. I love you. I know, I love you. You like something? Sí, te, por favor. ¿Y nada más? Mire, perdone. El um, señor Wood, um, ¿él está aquí? Señor Wood, aquí. No. ¿Por qué? Uh, Carlos, ¿dónde está Kyle? No sé. Yeah. Well, I don't know where he is. I'm going to go check the house. Uh, right. Uh, voy a casa, sí. Um, I speak Spanish. I can tell him. Okay, thank you. Uh, it's probably nothing. He's an independent kid. Dice que está buscando al niño Kyle. No, no va a estar en la casa tampoco. ¿Por qué? Es muy extraño, pero hay unas cosas aquí que me parecen muy extraños, ¿sabes? luminosa como relámpago, pero había un aire de peligro, ¿sabes? Nunca he visto una luz así. ¿Y cuándo es que pasó esto? Bueno, ya hace dos semanas pasado. Carlos, Carlos gone. I can't find him. I can't find him.
to you. Dad? We gotta go. We gotta go. Now, Dad. Now, Dad. Dad, please.
Hey. Thanks. Dad. <laughs> Anybody on our sixes? Negative. Okay. That's my boy. Hit him, Dad! He's one of them! Run him over! Let's go! Come on! Get him! I've seen him before. Move over. Thanks. Ooh. Who are you? Mr. Wood, my name is David Vincent. They're looking for us. I've been tracking them for many years. Ever since I started writing this, I still don't know where they come from. Our ecosystem is not right for them yet. They want us to ruin the Earth for them. Why me? I mean, what do I have to do with them? You were an implant like those others you saw at the hangar. That's their way of controlling someone to do their bidding. Like beating to death a professor outside of a Las Vegas casino. But what about the hangar? I mean, what was going on back there? One of them for each implant that is no longer useful. Soon there are going to be more of them than us. Eventually, no more human race. Do you think you're crazy, Mr. Wood? Not anymore. Oh, good. You're not. I've been watching you. Something about you confuses their control over you. Your brain snafus their signals. That's why you wouldn't kill the doctor for them. It may be the autism you had as an infant. That thing in your head is tuned into their collective consciousness. What they think, what they plan, you see. Maybe distorted, but you see it. That's what the visions are. All those years when I, I was afraid to sleep, to, to, to dream. You don't have to be afraid anymore. You're gonna have to stop right up here. Why? What's up there? This is where I have to get off. Yeah, but where are you going? I mean, uh, why don't you stay with us? If the two of us get captured. We're the only hope there is. We have to separate. So one of us is left to carry on. Use them. Use the visions. Don't be afraid. Read this. It'll tell you everything you need to know. Use the visions. It's up to you now. Breaker, this is Yagua Dulce. Jerry, are you there? Jerry, honey, this is Amanda. Jerry, please be there. Jerry, please answer. God, I'm so worried about Kyle. Where are you?
where's your father? What are you doing here? Where's Jerry? What have you done with him? Listen to me. Jerry isn't who you think he is. I came to take you away from him. Both of you. I thought, Mom, Jerry's one of them. What have you done to him? Nothing. I didn't do Nolan. it. Nolan? Nothing. Be careful. Dad, please! Dad, no. we no. can't leave her with them! Listen to me. I can't take you. It's too dangerous. You stay here with your mother. I'll come back for you, I promise. Dad, no! You do what I say! Tell her about the job. Get him out of here. Dad, come on. You can tell hey, him. Hey, hey, It's gonna be okay. Okay? Look, they were in here. Look, come on. We're not lying. He's been having a real rough time since his dad showed up. He's All right, Kyle, look here. There's nobody here saying you didn't see something out here, all right? You don't believe me. You believe him. Kyle, there's nothing here. No strange machines, no bodies. Just a bunch of flies buzzing around. Kyle, listen. I'll tell you what I do believe. I believe you love your old man over there. I believe you love him enough that you'd even lie for him. Hmm? Go to hell. Okay, buddy, come on. It's time to go home. Let's no! Go. Hey. Dad! I must convince others that what I have seen is real. They continue to infiltrate our everyday lives they have taken human bodies to replace their own and have blended into our society until they are almost invisible. They are here, and they intend to take our planet from us in the most insidious way possible, by letting us ruin it for them. Coil. Yeah, where are you? Did you, um, check out the boy's story? Did you find out anything? Absolutely nothing, Alan. What'd you expect? Now, forget about that, will you please? Tell me where you are. Someone tried to kill me last night. Don't you dare tell me to forget about it. Ellen, the arson investigator said that was a gas leak. It was an accident, all right? What about this David Vincent? What about David Vincent? Wood and Kyle told me the whole story. I checked the man out, and guess what? He's a crank, Ellen, a crank. 20 years of the Martians are coming, the Martians are coming. Wood probably read about him in prison, I don't know. Dr. Garza, you're getting in over your head here, and trust me, you don't want to do that. Now, you're a physician. Go back to your hospital. Leave Nolan Wood to us, will you please? Hello? 
Hello. Ellen. Once again, they are getting too close. I must give up this rundown house I've been living in and move on. Although I've grown used to it by now. Home is a concept I gave up long ago, traded for a life of constant fear and endless pursuit. There seems to be no logic, no clear pattern to the acts of violence they cause us to commit, but like a mosaic, each small incident is a piece of a larger picture, a picture of a world wrapped in violence, chaos, and decay. And did you hear what they're going to do to the guy who killed the USC doctor? This is the crazy convict they caught up in Barstow. They're going to give him a brain scan. The guy's lawyer says they're going to be looking for, and I quote, any cerebral abnormalities that may have influenced his behavior. Cerebral abnormalities? What are they talking about? Look, Doc, he's got four pounds of lasagna for a frontal lobe. OK? Thank you. And I didn't even go to med school. You're welcome. It's advantage, ma'am. Collector's item. Very good choice. No, it's been to the moon, <laughs> 250,000 miles, still runs like new. There you go. Thanks. So, Counselor, it was your good luck to be the next in line when they're handing out cases, huh? Please, I'm still trying to catch up with my last case. You know, it says here that my client, Mr. Nolan Wood, has a history of autism, visions, and chronic dizzy spells. If we discover that they're caused by a tumor or some other anomaly, then we got a basis for a defense. Move up a bit more. There you go. Yeah, just relax. Hello. 
Hello. Um, this is Dr. Garza. She's observing. Oh, fine. Excuse me. Dr. Reismiller, we're ready whenever you are. Okay, Billy. Let's begin. Normal brain, normal activity. If there's anything in there, I can't see it. Second opinion, Dr. Singh? I concur. Although there does seem to be some irregular activity around the Rolandic sulcus. That's an electronic bloom, right, Billy? Uh, could be. I'll see if I can lose it. The Rolandic controls a lot of motor activities. Aren't you just being diplomatic? <laughs> I'd be crazy to question her. The woman is never wrong. Uh, I can't seem to lose the bloom. Could that be something? Uh, even a, a small abnormality? I don't eat much. Absolutely not. The man's brain is normal and contains nothing anomalous. I agree. So, sorry. That about wraps it up. I want to get my man back. Last chance, Al. Time for plan B. Please reconsider. No, if they found something, they would have been fair. Batch. Could you give me a hand here, please? Dr. Rice Miller wants him an x-ray. No x-ray, no metal, no cuffs. This way, this way. Here. What's going on? I've read the journal. I'm getting you out of come here. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go. Neither do I. You're getting yourself into trouble. I don't know. I'm crazy. I just blew seven years of med school. Just, just get in the car. Come on, get in the car. Change, mostly pennies. They gotta still be in there. There's plenty of places to hide. I don't think so. Then how'd she get away? Different car? Hello there. Hey. Sorry if I'm interrupting you. Uh, you alone? No, not anymore. Well, look. Your friend Ellen, she helped Wood escape this afternoon. But es escape from jail? No, from here. He was here getting an MRI. Oh, I don't understand this. Why is Ellen getting involved for the guy who killed Josh? 
Now, that's a good question. Especially for me, since I'm the guy who's got to find him. So far, I'm coming up with exactly zilch. I mean, her apartment's gone, and uh, she left her car parked in the parking lot. What do you do with this? So you came to me? Yeah, I did. I mean, you're her friend, right? So I figured maybe you could give me some, uh, I don't know, insight. Well, she's a smart girl. My guess is she's booked. Well, maybe Mexico? She went to uh, Puerto Vallarta last year with Josh. No. No? No. Wood has a son in Barstow, so they're still around L.A. I was wondering about her friends. They're mostly staff and MDs. Anybody who would hide her out? <sighs> Rita, maybe. Rita. Are your eyes uh, blue or green? Yes. <laughs> You know what? I'm um, just about to get off. Would you? Yes. Can they track you down with that thing in your head? I'm not sure. It doesn't seem to be working the way they want it to. I read your chart. Your brain, you know, it may process things differently, scramble their signals. It may be your infant autism. David Vincent said the same thing, that I can see what they're planning. I'm part of their collective consciousness. I don't you see? It's like having a psychic ability. You have to use it. like a tunnel. A train in a tunnel. Or a, a train in a subway. And a man making a speech on a platform. That's it. That's, that's it. Hello, boys and girls. Our lesson for today, can you spell graft? That's right. Politicians lining their Armani pockets with cold hard you-know-what at our expense. Let's start with that testament to greed and excess, the metro rail. How's it going down there, boys? Another five billion, six billion is still counting? The next step, legislate us out of our cars into that tunnel of death. Believe me, brother, that is next, and we'll lose one more right, the freedom to drive, which, as far as I'm concerned, ought to be in the Constitution anyway. And why all this hoopla? so that Juan and Maria can get to their jobs on time? Hello, why should I pay for a metro rail that I can't use? Hmm, interesting, huh? Steak and eggs, steak and eggs, steak and eggs. Steak and eggs. Hi, sweetie. I know who you are. Kyle? I see your finger, and yours, and yours too, lady. Don't try to hide it under the table. Kyle, outside, now. Sure, why don't we all go outside for a little fresh air? Wouldn't that feel good? Where's Jerry? Have you ever seen what Jerry does in the garage, Mom? When he goes out at night? Have you ever seen what he breathes in there? That's no way to talk about your father. He's not my father. He's one of them. What are you talking about? Look at what they're eating. Steak and eggs, 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 steak and eggs. Kyle, please. You don't think that's weird? Carlos, help me. What's the matter with you? Why don't you see them for what they are? Is it because you've got one in your belly? <gasps> Kyle. Take it easy, son. Don't you ever call me that. My dad got out. He's coming to get me. Okay, buddy, let's uh, let's go on back to the house. Oh. Sorry about this, everybody. It's been just kind of a rough week. <laughs> Honey, it's all right. Just, uh, just gotta be patient with him, that's all. Just gonna take time. Oh, He'll be all right. He'll be all right.
We gotta get him out of there, Ellen. Before we do anything else, we gotta get Kyle out of there. You know that the police will be waiting for you. There are times when it seems so hopeless. When I realize how much I've lost. And how lonely this self-imposed mission of mine is. Am I deluding myself? Is our species so bent on self-destruction that we're beyond redemption? Am I naive to have faith in my fellow man? I think that's why I'm here. To keep the faith? Yeah. I've lost it. I want it back. He was scared as I am. You know what? There would be something terribly wrong with us if we weren't. And this is not like him, and I have no idea where he could be. I'm sure he'll turn up at some video arcade in town. What if they made some kind of prearranged meeting place? No, <laughs> not unless they've been in contact. I don't see how that could be possible. Neither do I. Look, it's a hot desert out there. I've got my men all over the roads. He's here. He's probably close by. There's no way that either one of them is going to slip through. Good morning, Agua Dulce. Um, está el señor Suárez there. Excuse me? You want to talk to Carlos? Si, sí, um, Carlos Suárez is my uncle. It's muy importante, please. Okay, Carlos, you got a phone call. Sorry, no it's okay. Sé. So you find out anything new, you're going to let us know, right? <laughs> yep. Hola. Doctora, ¿se acuerda que estaba ahí en el restaurante la semana pasada cuando el señor Wood llegó con una pistola? Mire, señor, por favor, mira, es muy importante de que nadie sepa que soy yo. Yo les dije que era su sobrina. Sí, a uh, sí, Juana. Gracias, mire. Está el niño Kyle por ahí. No, se salió anoche y se fue. Y la policía está aquí también. Señor Suárez, mira, hay que tengo que preguntarle un favor. Mira, yo estoy aquí con el papá del niño. Nosotros queremos encontrar a Kyle, pero... Él está en peligro y queremos llevarlo con nosotros. ¿Usted nos puede ayudar? Sí, seguro que sí. Señor Suárez, esa señora Wood. Sí. Uh, ¿Usted sabe dónde está el río? Sí, bueno.
Carlos, who's on the telephono? Uh, my uh, sister, daughter. Your niece? My niece, mm -hmm. si, uh, Juana. Uh, gracias. Uh, she lives in uh, Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Well, could you please ask Juana not to use that number? Just uh, no telefono personale on esta line. Okay, it's a it's a business phone. See. Sí. Thank you. Good morning, Los Angeles. Randy Stein bringing you a little truth for your coffee, a little cream for your smart. Have you heard the latest in that ugly joke called Metro Rail? Seems the work crews didn't seal the tunnels well enough when they were building them. Hello? Can anything out there spell methane? I'll tell you how I spell it. B-O-O-M. Boom. Get it? Good. A few days ago, I actually had a life. I had a, a job, a man I loved, a home. How did I end up here? I've been asking myself the same question for the last seven years. But you know, you don't have to do this. You can go back if you want to. I can't. Not anymore. Feynman is an environmentalist, right? Yes, that's his, that's his platform, pollution. The man I killed was an environmentalist, too. What did Vincent say in his journal? Something about to take the planet from us in the most insidious way imaginable. By letting us ruin it for ourselves. Oh, my God. We gotta get to call with this. Journal. We gotta leave it. No, we can't. It's in the car. Hey, listen to me. We gotta go. Come on, let's go. Go, come on. Exactly what Wood's been seeing, a tunnel, a train. Feynman is taking the metro rail. He's an environmentalist. Maybe our next president. I mean, he's exactly the kind of guy to go after. Yeah, right, Ellen. I'm gonna throw away my whole career here just because some whacked out ex-con's got visions in his head. That what you want me to do? Oh, damn it, Coyle. Read the journal. Go to the house in San Pedro. It's all there, all over the walls. He he's got files. Vincent's been tracking them for years. Ellen, listen to me. It's not too late. You can still come in. I believe him. Maybe when you open your eyes, you will too. I'll think about it. But in the meantime, what are you going to do? You going to spend the rest of your life on the run? Not if you help us. Not if we can find some way to make you see. I beg you, read the journal. You're the only hope we've got.
Look, Captain, I'm a good cop. I, I gotta tell you, I I've been reading this journal by this guy, Vincent, and some of it doesn't seem that far off base anymore. Vincent? You're not gonna start with this Martian stuff, are you? Sir, no. Please. All I'm saying is maybe we should be a little bit cautious here. You've been talking to Wood too much. I... What the hell's the matter with you? You know I can't go to the feds on a whim. We've got a presidential candidate to worry about. Captain, what's the worst thing could happen if I'm wrong? The department comes under ridicule. Yes, sir, it could. What if I'm right? <sighs> go home, get some sleep. I'll contact the feds, try to get them to call off the rally. Get some sleep. Hey, and hey, Coyle. <sighs> Do yourself a favor. Don't mention this to anybody else. I'm sorry. I, uh, I'm pregnant. It's the smoke. I, th I think I just need a little fresh air. Go right ahead. We can wait. Thank you. Me. I just thought I heard something and I, I looked out. I'm sorry, baby. You're shivering. Well, Kyle's still not here. Well, come on back in as soon as it gets cold enough out there. The kid's got to eat. And Nolan? You know, they'll catch him before he even comes close. Come here, baby. Come on. You got nothing to worry about, Amanda. We got our baby. We got our life. You gotta trust me, Amanda. Because I want what's best for all of us. Because I love you.
No, no, hey, 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 hey. Let me go! No, silencio! Let me go! Your father! He's not my father! No, Wood! Wood! Senor Wood! He talked to you? Si. Where is he? Donde? Ele, I take you. When? Now, ahora. that last night in your sleep. It was Kyle's favorite song when he was three. The doo-wah song, he called it. Sing me the doo-wah song, Daddy. I'm scared. There's monsters in the closet. You really love him, don't you? Seven years in prison. That's all I ever thought about. I always thought I'd have a jillion kids. Mm hmm Every Sunday in bed, you know, hugging them, tickling them, mm -hmm. getting breadcrumbs and jam all over the sheets. <laughs> Vámonos, apúrate. Carlos! No! Forget it! Kyle. Kyle, Kyle. I am so disappointed. I tried so hard to be a good father to you. I love your mother very, very much, son. And I know we could have been a wonderful, happy family. No, go back. Leave us alone. No, son. No. I'm afraid that's just not the way it's going to happen. Es la verdad, señora. Dad was right. He wasn't crazy. I know. Take what you need. It's my son. Be careful. Cuidado, sí. Cuidado. Kyle, never forget how much I love you, baby. And what you mean to me. No, Mom, you have to come with us. Oh, you're so big now. You always were your father's son.
bedtime reading. <laughs> Where'd you get that? <laughs> Did you read it, Matt? Some of it. Ooh, do you believe it? I don't know. You should. <laughs> No sé, Kyle. Es el número que me dio tu papá. They've got to be there. Look, uh, we wait. I call later. Union Station, 10 a.m. ¿Qué es? It's worth a try. Now today, Senator E. Kahlo G. Feynman breaks in the new line up to Tinseltown just to show what a regular guy he is and how this subway is going to solve all our pollution problems by getting cars off the streets. Right, yeah. And monkeys are going to fly out of my ears, too, and a few other things. The San Diego Express with stops at San Clemente and La Boya. You've been tracking this guy for the last 10 days. Now all of a sudden he's selling you on a conspiracy theory involving the senator and a bomb. Rudnick, I didn't even invite you along in this thing. But as long as you're here, why don't you try to be helpful, okay? Wait a sec, I know. This is all a ruse. You're gonna flush wood out right in front of the senator. Good time, Coil. Bag the psycho in front of three network cameras. Rudnick, do me a favor, will you? I want you to go to the Hollywood station. Take a couple of our guys with you. There's gonna be a crowd there, so you're gonna have to be cool. Now, the senator's got his own welcome wagon, but I need you to be my eyes. You got that? I'm gonna ride the rail. I'm on it, man. This whole intuition thing, I don't know. Right, Nick, I'll see you in Hollywood. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great honor to introduce our honored guest, the distinguished senator from the state of California, Senator Alex Feinberg. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It is my great pleasure to speak to you today on the occasion of the opening of the latest new line in this magnificent metro rail system which you have constructed in this great city. Can we afford to ignore the signs? Can we afford to trade our children's future for a convenient present? Wait, why would we get split up? Just in case. I want you to meet me at the Hollywood station, okay? If I don't show up, go back to Vincent's house and wait for Kyle to call. Please. You'll have nobody else to contact. Wait.
what is it? What is it? Something about the the the, the ventilation uh, system. What what's that gas that, that that's under LA that people always methane, talk about? Methane. That, that it's, it's highly volatile. Excuse me. What's with all the sec security? Well, don't you read the newspapers? Senator Feynman's gonna ride the rails. He's doing the dog and pony show with the press in honor of the new station. Uh, nobody's allowed down here after 10 o'clock, sorry. Uh, what's, what's the deal with all the, the dogs and stuff? What, the sniffer dogs? Uh, they're looking for anything unusual. You'd think the guy was in the Oval Office already, wouldn't you, with all the extra security? <laughs> yeah, you can't be too careful. Not in this neck of the woods. Yeah, you can say that again. What happens when the streets become so clogged and the air we breathe so thick with smog that we have no place else to turn? We can all look forward to a day when the third stage smog alert is a thing of the past, when the air we breathe here in Los Angeles can compare to anything they have to offer up there in Canada. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, this is Billy Clay. Uh, I'm down here at Security One. ID, Clay. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, A7172. Okay, go ahead. You guys are wired into the ventilation system, right? Yeah, why? Have you noticed anything off? Uh, build up a methane, anything like that? Uh, since when are you guys in security so interested in chemistry? Just check it for me, okay? For a second. Yeah. Uh, there's nothing, Clay. Everything seems to be working fine. Matter of fact, we have a backup ventilation system if this one ever went down, which it won't. Thanks for your interest. Let me swear. Guide us. Well? Nothing. What? That's him. Who? Monk. He's one of them. He murdered Josh. Oh the San Diego Express with stops at San Clemente and La Jolla is now boarding on track two, gate one. That's the San Diego Express, now boarding on track two, gate one. asking you to get somebody down there now. Open the vents as a precaution. Now you listen to me. The vents are regulated automatically. At a reading of uh, one particle of methane per 100,000, they start up on their own. Uh, exhaust fans will suck any gases that are in that tunnel. Then there's something wrong. Look, I, I can't stop the inaugural run on a whim, pal. Please, just send someone down. Uh, take a reading by hand. There's enough methane down there that the smallest spark will blow the senator off the face of the map. How do you know so much, Clay? Please, just do it. Okay. The worst thing that can happen is it'll waste 20 minutes of your time. Snyder, uh... Send your guys uh, down to the uh, exhaust shaft on the northbound rail. Have them take a couple of readings, all right? From here to the new platform at the Hollywood Station, but it symbolizes a journey which is long and arduous. A journey toward a future in which our children and our children's children can live not only in peace. There's Coyle. He must have read the journal. Come on. And now, 
with your continued support, let us ride into the future. Court, you can't let the senator get on the... He's under arrest! You bastards! You bastards! Watch it! Hey, wait! 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 A Hollywood station. You just hold on to me, honey, okay? Everything's gonna be okay. Okay? Q, this is Schneider. We have a problem. It looks like the meter's been tampered with here. The gauge is at zero, but I have a reading of 92%. Copy that, then. We'll activate the manual override. Copy. Resume fans, northbound tunnel. HQ, nothing's happening here. Oh, man. Copy, security one. The senator's gonna proceed and ride the rails. We have LAPD escort. Any sign of the fugitive would, and we will abort. Roger, HQ. No sign of the fugitive. Hey, train this is Whitley from HQ. Do you copy? So excited to be taking this journey. Thank you all very much. I'll see you in Hollywood. Thank you. Thank you. Are you going to ride the Good to see you. I'm at a vote. Got a problem with that couple of journey. I got to check it out. Serious situation. The systems are down. We have a methane count of over 92%. Exercise extreme caution with all flammables. Abort the run on the northbound train. Do you copy? HQ, this is checkpoint B. Northbound train has left Union Station. I think the fugitive is on the train.
Pershing Square. This is HQ. Communication is down. Request intercept northbound train. Hold at Pershing Square. Do you copy? Give me your gun. Give me the gun. Ah! Now, please, give me the gun. Stay calm. Everything will be fine. There's no problem here. There's no problem at all. Headquarters, we have a problem. That train's a runaway. Initiate emergency evacuation plan. All stations. Copy. Copy, HQ. That train's got four minutes to Hollywood Station if it doesn't stop on its own. The methane count of 92%. The smallest spark of the whole spare gold. It's like 15 tons of steel hitting a concrete wall. That kind of spark. <laughs> uh, do me a favor. Find out what frequency the Secret Service guys are on, and get me a walkie pronto. Why are you doing this? Oh! He's bleeding. Stop his bleeding. I don't want him to die. Can I? Sure. This is Whitley at Metro Link Control. Anyone on the northbound train, can you read me? This is Whitley at Metro Link Control. Can you read me? Anyone on the northbound train, can you read me? Turn that off. This is Whitley at Metro Link Control. Can you read me? Anyone on the northbound train? Can you read me? Put it down.
Nolan, get up. Link. Uh, there's a northbound train, you copy? Thank God. Northbound train, this is Metrolink Control. How you guys doing there? We got a problem here. The engineer's been shot. Something uh, uh, Give me a You listen to me. You got about three minutes till you hit 30 tons of steel and poured concrete. What, what do you want me to, to do? Shut him up back there, all right? I'll do it. Okay, I copy that. Uh, where, where's the emergency brake? No. No, Ed. We have a serious buildup of methane north of Pershing Square. The slightest spark is going to send the whole place into orbit. That includes fire armors. Copy. You're going to have to bring it in gently. You got just enough real estate, Nolan. Now, you look at the control panel to the right of the engineer's seat. There's a lever there. It should be in the up position. Copy. Yeah, copy. Now, very gently, begin sliding it down. Now, you're going to feel the power starting to go. I think it's, uh, it's, it's stuck or something. You copy that? All right, fine. You look below you. There's an override switch. Engage. Copy. Negative. The whole system is down top to bottom. All right, then. Wood, you listen to me. I'll, I'll, I'm going to shut down the whole grid. Now your power's going to go, but the motor should cut out. Yeah, I copy that. You're gonna make yourself a shunt. You know what that is, what? Look, you, you look just outside the engineer's booth. There's a panel on the floor. You turn the lever and you lift it off. There are four terminals on the plate beside the drive wheel. Do you see them? Yeah, copy that. What you want to do is reverse the charge, would Instead of connecting the terminals positive, positive, you want positive, negative. We copy red to black, black to red. This will make the whole engine into an electromagnet. And I'll begin slowing you down. Copy. Terminals are all black, Whitley. Copy. I'm starting to lose you the further you get. Whitley, you copy this? What happens if I connect improperly? You're going to have to take a chance, Wood. You're going to have to take your chances. You're gonna need a conductor, any kind of metal to jump the terminal, cigarette wrappers, whatever you can find. All right. I'm shutting the grid down now.
Senator Feynman, due to ride the rails today in the debut of the new station, is apparently being held captive on the train by escaped convict Nolan Wood. All stations are being evacuated until the situation is brought under control. Okay, so you're going to fly, Vuela. Okay, so you're going to fly. Alright, so you can find something, okay? Something metal, that's what you said, right? Right. I got something. My bracelet. It should work. Have you engaged the shunt? Would you have less than two minutes to the Hollywood station? Have you engaged the shunt? Wood, come in, Wood. You don't have enough tunnel. Do you copy? You don't have enough tunnel to stop at your current rate of deceleration. You're gonna have to take a chance. Try the emergency brake again. What? You don't have. What? Do you copy? What? You you don't have enough tunnel. Wood. I know, Captain. Coyle wanted to ride the rails with the Senator. One thing for sure, he was right on. This is a major security risk in the making. Yes, sir. If Wood shows, I'm gonna bring him in. Pressure hoses. What is that supposed to mean? Let's hope that they're connected to the brakes. This pressure releases should cause the brake drums to close against the wheels.
give him a hand, right? Controlling control, this is a security Hollywood station. The northbound train has come to a stop. Repeat, the northbound train has come to a stop. Uh, you get those people off the train. We still have a serious situation here until the fans get back online. Uh, copy, Metro Link. Uh. The Metro Rail is located on the lower plaza. Please take the escalators to level B. Oh. What? What's happening? They got to you. Ready for your life. Copy. Okay, everybody back. Now. Come on, back. Come on. Come on, everybody back. Come on, back. Move. Coming with me. Where's Coyle? Shoot, Mac. You can do it. Oh, come on, Mac. It's just me. Grace. Come on, shoot. Maybe another Grace, another Quail. You can do it. Fire. just in about the explosion in the metro rail early estimates are that nearly a thousand people could have been killed now i'm getting initial reports indicating that nolan wood set it up he's the crazy killer they can't seem to find maybe if they catch him they can give him another brain scan and let him escape again why not they're getting good at it who knows what he'll do next and while you're at it i want you to think about this i want you to think about it what if he pulled it off Kill the king of the weenies, Senator E. Ecology Feynman, and all those politicians who were responsible for the Metro Rail in the first place. Now, some people might just call that justifiable homicide. And while I'm not going to condone blowing up trains, here's my thought for the day. Maybe Nolan Wood isn't so crazy after all. You know what I'm saying? This is Randy Stein. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Solos, si lindo, dame un abrazo.